All right, we got the box game, the $60 one. This is not the $25 one. Um, I'm probably going to get the $25 one and do a review. Um, great thing about this box, for 60 bucks you get 8 mechs. The rule book is solid, and we're going to see all that a little bit later. But even though I bought this box just for the, uh, the mechs, um, I already have like the hardback rules, which I'll do a video later about those. But this, if, if you're getting into Battletech and you have nothing, uh, I believe, I'd say I know this is the best way to do it. Um, the $25 box only comes with two mechs, but the, the eight, I think the eight mechs in here that you'll see a little bit later are solid. And if anyone wants to use that little code thing right there, go ahead. I'm not going to use it. So this is the unboxing. Now this first little book is pretty much like a sh short story. Um, there's like a little uh, glossary thing in the back which shows all the mechs. A little bit about the ships and stuff I guess that are in the story. I haven't read it yet. Um, the cards that come with it are for the Alpha Strike. They are like always great quality, good cards, there's characters and stuff. You know, if you just want to play Alpha Strike, it's an easier, watered-down version of uh, Battletech. Two dice, which you'll need a lot more. i say at least like a dozen dice. At least a dozen. If you're playing a small game. And here are the eight mechs. <coughs> they, they really knew what they were doing when they put these mechs in there. Because I've been wanting the awesome and the catapult, those sons of bitches, and uh, you can't get them anywhere else. So this is the primer book. The primer book is pretty much your your short, um, pretty much just the lore of what's going on with the clans, who the houses are, who are the samurai weed people, uh, who are the thieves, mercenaries, you know. Pr pretty much Battletech is full of all kinds of weird um inbreeding rich people and psychopaths and just you know genocide at a universal size like there's some wild shit going on the jihads and stuff like that and then there's like the no novels all on the back but that that's a good book to like just get your like toes wet and see what's going on the rule book is solid i have it right next to me I'll give you like a quick of the, uh, I don't show really any of this because I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but um, Table of Contents is solid. I was really surprised with this rule book on, on because it just doesn't go over like the, the basic stuff you need to know. Um, here's the uh, contents real quick. Um, introduction, playing the game, then it goes to the next chapter is like movement, combat, and then damage, and there's about like... 15 to 20 pages in between some of those then heat other actions and then at the end which I was surprised actual mech construction and it goes in some pretty good basic detail on how to actually build a mech from like zero with like no armor no weapons you just have like the frame and what you want to add like the heat sinks and stuff like that I was really surprised that that was in here and it's really really good um when I do a review of the old, or when I do like a touch-up of the, uh, or a video of the uh, old books, which I think there's new ones out now, um, there's like a thick-ass book that tells you how to build mechs. Because it's not easy, but um, the rule book does a, a really good job of that. The um, record sheets here are solid. There's about two for each mech, except for the awesome, because the awesome has one configuration and it only needs one configuration and that's all it ever needs because it's awesome but the record sheets are really clean perfect they have the BV points and everything and I'm really I like that they come with like a uh, two of each just about I think there's three battle masters is there no Oh yeah, there is. And then the last page on the back is a plain, empty sheet. So you can build your own mech and everything. 
really good. Um, these make the game so much easier when uh, when you just have record sheets laying around, and you know BattleTech, you just pencil, paper, and dice, and, and the table. Really, that's all you need. And the uh, the versions of the mechs are kind of the uh, early era. Yeah, there's the awesome. It's awesome. And there's not a lot of, uh, there's no really advanced weapons or later era weapons like the snub nose PPCs and the plasma weapons or anything like that. But I think this is like just to get you, get you into the game. It's solid and perfect as it is. The hex papers or the battle mats. I don't know if you count them as a mat. A, a mat. It's more of a map. I've had a ton of these because of all the old box sets I have. These are probably the overall prettiest and nicest. Um, I recommend that if you're not playing on like a 4x8 or anything, and you're just going to play on these little mats, get an iron, but don't put any water in it. Just let it warm up so you can get the creases out. And then go over to like, um, like Kinko's and get it like laminated and shit. Because they are beautiful. And... I've, t I've used them before, even though I play on a bigger table. If I go to, like, a friend's house, fucking bust those things out. Alright. So this is, like, a, the uh, cheat sheet or the data sheet. This is really good. It's got everything on it. Um, tack modifiers, cluster hit tables, which is probably the thing I use the most. Hit location, determining criticals, tack modifiers, I probably said that twice. Piloting skill, movement cost. Punch, kick locations, different level table. So, like, if you're on a hill or not. Also, there's, like, you know, heat. Modifiers for weapons and uh, facing after you fall. Really good. Again, this is another thing that you want to probably get, like, laminated or make copies of. And they give you permission at the bottom to make copies. And this is your little, like, paper cutout so you can add, like, more hills or have some extra mechs. Until you go out and buy it, because most of these mechs you can't buy in a single box, except for like the, I think the Thunderbolt, um, I want to say the Commando, there might be at least three of them that are out in the other sets now. And I know the Catapult is coming in the next wave, but it's going to have different, uh, it's not going to have the, um, the same weapons. And here's pretty much the little paper cutouts and what they look like on the mat. You just you change it up a little bit. It's not doing too much, but you know, it is for what it's worth. That's something. But uh, the quality on the, the little paper mats looks so good. I'm gonna probably pick up some of the um, the mouse pad ones they have. I don't know. I guess you call them roller mats. Um, do some reviews on those too because they look really good. I just like the the little hill detail. Wh whoever did it did a great job on like all the um, the art of it. It it looks pretty three D and shit. It looks better than adding the little paper things to it. So here's a regular rundown of our mechs real quick up close. The Shadow Hawk. I think there's a one of these comes in the other sets. I think it's just a little bit different. There's the booty. Then your front, you got that big old cannon on your shoulder. I like the guns on the shoulder and shit. The missiles look cool. I'd be worried about them blowing up, though. Battlemaster is another uh, solid mech. He's a little badass. He's on the cover of the box, beating shit out of everybody. Got that. I think it's a plasma gun. Or not a plasma gun, a PPC. Looks like a little SMG almost with a handle. Like he holds it with two hands. It looks solid. Battlemaster is probably one of the cooler looking mechs. Huge ass cop it. The Thunderbolt's another solid mech. Um, if you've seen my other reviews, this one recently came out from uh, Barnes and Nobles and has the uh, the jump jet plume coming out of it. So now you can get that rather than buying this box set. The catapult, man, I. I'm not a big fan of the catapult mech itself, but I do like it, and I like it with the arrow missile system. 
I use it as a missile boat. I don't like it with the, the PPCs on it. But I wish this was like in a regular box because I would want like two or three of these guys just for fun. They're, they're, they're a good like a uh, missile boat that can put out a little bit of lasers and firepower. Wolverines, nice little guys, pretty solid looking. He's one of those dudes with a gun on the arm and the missile on the shoulders. He's not too fancy. I think they were going for like a almost like an anime style mech theme because everybody's just about the same in this box except for like the awesome and the catapult the griffin <laughs> here's the griffin for you it comes in paper form yeah there's the back but they they put the card in there so fucking use it the commando commando is just the commando we've all seen them before Round head, big feet, little guy with big dreams. Fucking, why well, my camera not focusing? I need a new video camera. The Locust, this is one of the mechs I really wanted. And they need to put this bitch in the next wave. I think he is. But they need to put more, like, Locusts and, like, the, the Flea. We need more lights. And he looks great. His legs look great. This is probably... Between this guy and the catapult, like my and the the awesome, this is probably like my favorite. Cause I I love lights. So I don't give a shit. And here's the awesome. Only comes in the one configuration, which is awesome. Three PPCs and a small laser to tickle you. And on the other side of the awesome car is there's another battle master. But the awesome is gorgeous. This is another mech they should have put in the in the another box. I understand why they haven't. I don't think they will. I don't even think it's coming in the next wave. Because for an inner sphere mech, it's just so good. And it kills me. Because you, you'd want, like, maybe two of these. You know, in a small game, you'll run one. But, like, in, like, a large game, something like maybe 20,000 points, you'd run, like, two of them for sure. Here they all are. Here's the lineup. The catapult is beautiful. Locust is beautiful. Not awesome is beautiful. They're all really good looking. But those are like my favorites. I think this box is definitely worth it. Uh, 60 bucks for 8 mechs is a little bit expensive if you're just going for the mechs. But I think the mechs... With the catapult and the locust, the battle master and the um, awesome, they kind of they're, they're they're worth it in my opinion. They're they're really good mix. I recommend this box set. If not, get the twenty five dollar one. But um, yeah, this is a good buy in my opinion. Again, this is a great way to get started. It has everything you need. Um, I highly recommend this one. Um, the next review I'll be doing is probably the $25 box one when I pick it up. Um, other than that, take care. Bye-bye. Good day.